Welcome back to the shipyard. Today we are talking about the Vulcan Nevar. This is a Surak class ship. That's the little tiny ship. It came out in Wave 7, which was September of 2014. So this is a ship that's now over a year old. And it's one that doesn't see a lot of play. And I'm kind of going, eh. Maybe it's time to talk about it and see if I can resurrect something. So, base stats of 2, 1, 4, 3. 20 total points. Nice thing here, 4 whole means you can support attack squadrons. That's useful. Downside has 4 whole means you can't take improved deflector screens. It's trade-off. Now, you do get your standard fed action bar, evade, target lock, scan, battle station, so that's nice. Two attack dice, eh, we need something to punch that up a bit. Uh, we do get one tech and two crew slots, so we'll have some flexibility to improve our ship that way. The lack of a weapon slot, however, is going to hurt us, not necessarily because we want photon torpedoes, but we might want an aft particle beam or something just to cover a rear firing arc or, you know, the 180 that we don't get covered. And that is the nice thing here. We do get a native 180 degree firing arc, which does make up for only having two attack dice a little bit. But still, when you're talking about ships like a Keldon class that get five dice 180, kind of hard to compare it. So the named ability... When you attack an enemy ship at range 3 with your primary weapon, if there is a scan token beside your ship, gain plus 1 attack die for that attack. If this named ability had just been attack with your primary weapon, if there's a scan token beside your ship, gain plus 1 attack die, I think it would have gone over a lot better. When you're scanning, you're not doing battle station or target lock, meaning you don't have the attack quality, you're only getting to 3 attack dice, Yes, you're taking away one of theirs, but you're really not doing a whole lot. And that's what this ship feels like. It's the ship that just doesn't do a whole lot. Yes, it's durable, and and that's a good thing. It's one of the cheapest durable ships. The Surak class generic giving you four hull for 18 points is the best fighter carrier you can bring into a game but with the amount of anti-fighter weapons you don't have to have fighters to be super duper competitive so the generic you lose a shield you lose a crew slot you save two points yeah it'll make for a nice swarm ship it makes very interesting era game play the Vulcans are still really, really good in era games, and it's nice for them to have an option that isn't a Dakir class. So this saves you some points there, and, and I like it for that reason. But ultimately, this pack is going to come down to the cards. So we get an Admiral, and that is Vloss. He's skill 5 or plus 1 as an Admiral. 3 points, unique of course, gives you a talent slot. Action, target a ship at range 1 to 2, disable one crew upgrade of your choice on the target ship. I like it. Works through shields, works through cloak, repeatable, done. Actually, in today's environment with a bunch of Federation crew defense stacking, I can see this working really well to mitigate a lot of those bonuses. Yes, you're essentially trading action for action, but if they're spending their action to re-enable rather than take battle stations or target lock, that means that they're not getting attack quality, which might be enough for you to survive. So Vloss is somebody to at least consider, and I think he does his job pretty well. Another captain in this pack is Captain Kuvak, skill 4, 2 points. After you move, if you perform an evade action, you may place two evade tokens beside your ship instead of one. If your ship is not in the forward firing arc of any enemy ships. Now, skill 4 will help with this, but most of the Vulcan maneuver dials don't really help you arc dodge. So, Kuvak is cool, but not infinitely useful. He's still good though and a lot of times you can move first 
and you'll take evade knowing you'll get shot a bunch early. And then when your opponent moves, they'll be within range 3, and that way they can shoot. Because remember, within arc does mean that it's both firing arc and range distance, so Kuvank is reasonable there. It's just that his usefulness is limited mid-game when a bunch of ships are all over the place. And now the captain that you probably bought this ship for, or will buy this ship for, is skill 6 Sopak with a talent slot. Add one crew upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. Uh, that's cool. Action. Choose one of your crew upgrades that was discarded from your ship on a previous round. Redeploy that crew upgrade to your ship and place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. Alright, so now we can resurrect crew from the discard pile. Now, in unlimited play, this is really, really, really good. He can do everything that Weyun 6 does in terms of disable, except he doesn't disable. He's just an action to bring the crew back. And that way you maintain a high skill captain. He can also bring a crew back if you mess the chain up one round. Whereas Weyun, if your crew gets discarded when you couldn't save them, your crew's gone. Here, Sopek can pick them up anyways and start again. So, Sopek is good. In terms of Vulcan, say your ship peer or fleet peer, now Sopek still has some use because there are some Vulcan cards that are useful. Uh, we'll get to Vulcan commandos, but that is where I see Sopek being the most useful. Again, probably not absolutely great in that situation, but still playable. So let's talk about Vulcan Commandos. They are a crew, they each cost 3 points, and they are not unique. Action. If your ship is not cloaked, disable all of your remaining shields and target a ship at range 1 to 2 that is not cloaked and has no active shields. Discard this card and any number of your other Vulcan Commandos. You get 3 in the pack. For each of your crew upgrades that you discarded with this action, disable one upgrade of your choice on the target ship and gain plus one attack die this round against that ship. And you can only buy these for a Vulcan ship. So, burn three of these, get five dice on the Nevar with Sopek, bring them back slowly. It's a nice trick. It's not amazing, but it could be a thing. I'd like it better if you could just do it and it wasn't an action, but eh, we'll take what we get. I'd like it better if they worked through shields, but again, era games. That's where this is really going to shine, and I think era games are something that we don't see enough, and I think that that's something that people need to look into for home play because that's a great way to enjoy this game. You take the Vulcans, the early Federation, the early, early Romulans. Klingons only get Sommer right now, sorry. And the Zendi. And you mess around with them, and a lot of that stuff is actually pretty balanced. Toss the Tholians in there, because why not? And maybe even a Gorn ship, because I don't think it would break things too much. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. And you'd have something that was really interesting. But Vulcan Commandos are playable, for sure. There's some use for them, and, and there are times that you can get ship shields down, projected stasis field, forcing them out of cloak. Um, there's a couple of cards that do that, and I don't remember all their names off the top of my head. But, um, you know, get creative with it. And I think Vulcan Commandos still have a place. They're not greatly pointed. I think they each should have been two points. Um, but, but that's okay. Moving on, we get the Decisive Action Talent. It's unique. Action, if you attack an enemy ship this round whose captain has a lower skill than yours, during the roll attack dice step of the combat phase, you, you may discard this card to choose two of your attack dice and place them both on hit results. These dice cannot be rolled or re-rolled this round. Yeah, it's nice to set two hits. Again, I think it would be much, much better if it wasn't an action. I think this is the kind of card that needs to just be 
an ability, a discard, not an action discard. Because it's situational. It's so situational. You have to have that ship with a lower captain skill. You have to be able to attack them. And you're not always going to know that. Vulcans don't have the highest captains. And look, is setting two dice to hits a nice ability? You bet. But when the Klingons can do this for two points and they can set a crit... That to me screams unbalanced, and it's not an action for the Klingons, and something's got to give. So, I don't know. Toss that on the pile of things to fix, or the pile of shame for me. Oddly enough, we get a weapon in this pack, even though there's no weapon slot, and that's Photonic Weapon with four attack dice, range two to three. Uh, you spend your target lock, disable the card, and you can re-roll one of your blank results. And you can fire out your forward or rear arc. So... This is a card that, yeah, you'll spend points on it, but if you can get a weapon slot, which you have to go cross-faction in order to do, you have a better dice, and and that's not bad. Combo that with Vulcan Commandos, and all of a sudden you're up to seven dice, there might be something there. So, a thing to consider. But where the Vulcans shine, where they truly shine, is in their attack, and they get the one-point tractor beam. If you are attacked at range one during the modify attack dice step, you may disable this card to force the attacking ship to reroll one of its attack dice of your choice, so that's almost always a critical. You know, even if it turns a crit into a normal hit, it's probably worth it, because that means it's a crit that's not hurting your hull. And even if it's damage, it means you're not under an event. You're just taking damage, and that is going to keep you alive. It's going to make life a little bit easier on you. So, that's something. I don't see a reason not to toss this on if you have one point left and a tech slot in your Vulcan fleet. And the last card in this pack, Combat Vessel Variant. Your primary weapon and hull values are at plus one. In addition, you get a weapon upgrade slot. The upgrade can only be purchased for a Surak class ship, and you can't have more than one. So this is how you get that photonic weapon, plus three native attack dice, five hull. Look, you're paying five points, and you're getting essentially four points in return, plus that weapon slot. I think it's a fair trade-off, but you have to make the call if it's actually worth it in terms of your fleet. So it may or may not actually hold true, but I like that it's a card that exists. I'm more apt to take this on the generic than I am on the actual named ship because I'll boost the generic. And then I'm only at 23 points versus 25. That gives me a lot more wiggle room. Um, but again, that's just me with my personal tastes. So overall, the Nevar. You're buying it for Sopek. And, and that's just a thing. Uh, if your ship here... You can probably get away without it. If you're fleet peer, well, you're probably not flying Vulcans. But if you're a home player, you want this ship because it's Vulcan. And there's so much you can do with Vulcan in a campaign, in different things. It's a reasonable looking model. It looks good to me. Granted, I'm not the pickiest person when it comes to models, but I do enjoy them. And, and this is a model that, that looked good. And I went, oh, that's something different, but it's a Vulcan ship. You know, there's good stuff here. And any time I see good stuff, good solid upgrades for a faction, it, it, it's worth a purchase. I mean, Vloss has a place. The Talon is terrible, forget it. But Tractor Beam is playable. It's a one-point upgrade. What do you really want? Combat Vessel variant is is reasonable. Kuvak is... eh. But it could be something. And that's okay, right? We're building into cards that could be something someday. Like, I'm at this point, and I'm going, there's a few usable cards in this pack. It's something cool to have. It, it allows you to have some fun. And I'm good with that. So, give the Nevar a look, and check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard.
Take care.